The power and beauty of calculus becomes most apparent when it comes to solving differential equations and we'll be solving ordinary differential equations. These are equations that involve an unknown function of a single variable and the derivatives of that unknown function in an equation. And our task is to find that unknown function. So unlike algebraic equations that you're used to solving where we are looking for an unknown number, here we are looking for an unknown function. Now, um, this is the most general form of an ordinary differential equation or ODE for short. So we have a function f that connects, relates the variable x to the unknown function of x, y, and the derivatives of that unknown function y up to some order. So we call uh, the variable x the independent, independent variable and be prepared uh, for different letters being used for the independent variable depending on the context, the type of problem that we are um, uh, using differential equations for. And so y is the function of x, it depends on x, therefore we call it the dependent variable. But again, this is just the unknown function that we are looking for. And while by solving the differential equation, we find out what uh, y can be as a function. Now the highest order derivative of this unknown function uh, gives us the order of the differential equation. And we'll be looking at uh, the cases where n is equal to one or n is equal to two. So these are first order ODEs and second order ODEs. Now, if we manage to uh, express the highest order derivative uh, of the unknown function from the equation and put it to one side, then we get the explicit form of the ODE. So this tells us that the nth derivative of the unknown function uh, is uh, related to the lower order derivatives uh, of the function and the independent variable in a certain way. And, uh, as I said, uh, we will focus on the cases where n is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2. So a first order differential equation would be y prime equals y. So this is looking for an, uh, a function uh, who, which is itself, has itself for the derivative and yet we might already suspect what that function is. Um, whereas an example for the second order ODE would be y double prime equals negative y. So here we are looking for a function whose second derivative is the opposite of the function minus one times the function and again you might have already some candidates for the solution there. Now let's just look at and solve a, a concrete differential equation of a different kind this one where y prime is equal to x. So here we are looking for a function whose derivative we know and is x. Now you might already suspect what we'll do next. We will we'll integrate both sides of this equation with respect to x to get y, that function of x, as the indefinite integral of x, that is x squared over 2 plus any constant c. Now this, this is a family of functions, all of which uh, um, solve the differential equation y prime equals x. So if we plot these functions, we get a family of curves, namely parabolas in this case, and each of which uh, is actually the graph of a solution. So we need uh, more information if we just want to single out uh, one solution. And this um, one uh, piece of information that we need is just a single value of this unknown function. It, once we know the unknown function at one uh, point along the x-axis, so at x equals two, say the function's value is one, that singles out just one parabolic arc, namely, it uh, tells us that uh, that's the solution x squared over 2 minus 1. So by that initial value, by that single value there, we managed to uh, determine the value of the constant of integration um, and get it to be negative 1 there. Now this is why we say that an initial value, a known value for this unknown function at a single point, determines the constant of integration c in a first order ODE. Okay, let's solve some differential equations. Select all functions that are solutions of the differential equation y prime equals 4y. So pause the video and make your selection now. 
of your post-it and I've selected those two functions. So let's go with the first one. All we need to do is compute its derivative. e to the 4x differentiates to e to the 4x times the derivative of 4x, which is just 4, so it's 4 times e to the 4x, and that is indeed 4 times uh, y. So this function satisfies the differential equation and is a solution of, of it, whereas if y is equal to 3 times e to the 4x by the constant multiple rule, we will have just 3 times the derivative of e to the 4x, but that we just showed to be 4 times e to the 4x. And so we see that indeed uh, we see 4 times uh, 3 times e to the 4x, so that's 4 times y. Uh, let's look at the next question. Select the differential equation that has y equals x plus e to the negative x as a solution out of these ones. So pause the video and make your selection now. Hope you paused it and I've selected that equation. So we can check that that function is a solution of that differential equation by simply just computing the derivative of the function. So that will be just 1 minus e to the negative x. And when we add these two, when we compute y prime plus y, we get uh, 1 minus e to the negative x plus x plus e to the negative x and the e to the negative x is nicely cancelled leaving us with 1 plus x and indeed we see that that function is a solution of the differential equation. Let's look at the next question. Consider the following initial value problem. We are given the differential equation y prime uh, equals x divided by 1 plus y and an initial value um, of the unknown function y at x equals 4 being equal to 1. So knowing this, uh, let's determine the derivative of y at x equals 4, y prime of 4. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and I've inputted 2 for the answer. So simply uh, we can just use the information given to us and this equation um, setting their x to be 4 we get in the numerator 4 and in the denominator we get 1 plus y of 4. But that we know to be 1 and using that in the equation we get 4 over 1 plus 1 that is 4 over 2 that is 2. So therefore we figured out that the derivative of the unknown function at x equals 4 is 2. Let's look at the next question. Use integration to find the general solution of the following ODE, y prime equals x cubed, and given the initial value uh, that y of 2 is equal to 1, use this general solution to determine the constant of integration c. So pause the video and input your answer in the box. Okay, I hope you pause it and I found the value of c to be negative 3, but first of all, let's just look at the differential equation, y prime equals x cubed. So integrating both sides of this equation with respect to x gives us the general solution y of x being the indefinite integral of x cubed dx, that is x to the 4 over 4 plus any constant c, but when we then uh, set x to be 2 to be able to use that initial value, we get y of 2 to be 2 to the 4 over 4 plus c, so that's 16 over 4, plus c, that's 4 plus c, and that we know by this initial value that needs to be equal to 1, and that can only happen if c is equal to 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.